all-around game, okay? You're going to have to trust me on this. So what I'm teaching here will go hand-in-hand hand with what you do. I'm not going to cripple your game, all right? That's the biggest resistance that I get from that guy. They feel that learning this stance and learning this stuff is going to cripple what they do. It will not. Just apply it. Okay? The first thing I'm going to teach, and anybody who's ever dealt with me, anybody who's ever seen me coach, and, 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 they, and they probably get tired of hearing it, is the true boxer stance. Okay? The true boxer stance is when you have your opponent in front of you. As you have your opponent in front of you, you don't want to square up here. Most guys want to fight here. The reason why a lot of guys want to fight here when they decide they're going to punch it's because they want to take their right hand, which is their power hand, and they want to bring it as close to their opponent as they can. Okay, but what you have actually done when you do this is you make yourself a target. Okay, this is a whole lot more enticing to him than if I were standing here. All right, so now you're going to deal with his offense full force because there's nothing stopping him from coming at you. You have no balance. From here, if he was to take his hand and push me, I have to catch my balance before I can do anything. Okay, so you lose balance and you make yourself a target by squaring up. So one of the main objectives in this game is to keep this foot hidden. I don't want him to have a clear view of my back foot. So I'm going to stand at this, at this angle, no matter where we are. This is the true boxer stance. Your hands are brought in right here. Okay, elbows in your sides from here, and your hands are bent straight back. You want to keep them high enough to protect you, but low enough so they don't blind you, okay? Because when you get a guy who understands footwork and positioning, this right here is a weapon for him. If I can see you standing here, and I know you can't see me if I'm here, then I'm going to step you off and step right here. You cannot, what are you going to do? You're going to move this hand to see me and I'm going to touch you, okay? So don't give yourself that blind spot. Your hands stay right below your eyes so that you can see. You can move your hand, you can move your hand faster from here to here than he can from here to here. So don't be afraid of that. Alright? You can catch the punches quite faster from here to here than he can coming at you. Okay? So don't feel that you have to stand here and blind yourself. Step back here. Okay? Now, your balance is in your hips. Okay, now this is one of those, uh, this is one of those instances I was telling you that's going to be awkward because from the time we learn to walk, from the time we learn to walk, if we walk and we turn, we turn our shoulders. Anytime we change directions, we turn with our shoulders. It's natural. But what that does is your shoulders are the widest part of your body. It creates too much momentum to make quick turns and changing of directions in here. So what you end up doing is turning, catching your balance, and then punching. When you turn from your hips, you make the turn right into your offense. Okay? When you turn, because your hips are closer to your legs, they're connected. So when your hips stop, your legs stop. When you turn with your shoulders, you turn, you catch your balance, and then you come forward. We've done it so much that we think that is natural. It is not awkward for us to do that. It is what we've done our whole lives. Okay? So that, that in turn makes this awkward because I'm going to tell you, take that program and throw it away, run this new program. Your brain's like, I don't want to hear it. All right? So you're going to have to just constantly make that, make a conscious effort to focus on that, keeping your balance. Because once you turn with your hip, from here, your feet come right back in the front, right back into the true boxer stand. When you swing with your hip, with your shoulders, you catch a balance. And we always make that little stumble, that little stutter step, that little adjustment. We're used to it. We're used to it. So now, let your opponent be used to it. Okay? And while he's stumbling, you're already in focus. You're already ready to go. Okay? So you catch him as he's stumbling. That, we're going to come back to that because it's going to show you how effective this can be while the footwork is allowing your opponent to move. You're already putting your offense together. So what you're going to do with this, is you're gonna, you want to use the footwork to make your opponent adjust. Make him catch up to you. While he's catching up to you, you're already putting your offense together. Okay? So now, true boxer stance is right here. Right here. You want to keep, keep your angle here, right there. So now, the way you adjust that, the way you actually police that in your mind, 
Extend your jab and leave it. That's where you want your opponent. If he moves here, adjust your rear foot, turn. No, this way. Turn, boom, put him right back. You understand? Because that keeps him at this angle, and that's where you want him to be, right here. So when he moves, you move. And that's all you're doing, just keeping him right here. And that's it. One foot moves, the other foot moves. Now, as you propel yourself, you use the opposite foot. That's another, that's another thing that's kind of backwards for us. Is now I'm going to tell you to move all over the place and never, leave, never change your lead foot. We don't do that. We walk, we change our lead foot. Anytime you want to get from one place to the next, you're constantly changing your lead foot. Now I'm going to tell you to move all the way around and never change your lead foot. No matter which direction you go to. You're keeping that lead foot right here. When you're going to want to do this. You got me? Yes, sir. sir. All right. The reason why <coughs> is because all of your punches come from and end in the true boxer stance. From the true boxer stance, you have every punch. That is the, that's the utmost importance of this stance. From here, you're balanced. You have every punch. Every punch that you want to throw comes from, comes back to this stance. Okay? So now, <laughs> by maintaining this stance, whatever mistakes that he makes, you can capitalize on. If he drops a hand, if he takes some awkward step, you can throw any punch you want from this stance. So wherever the, wherever the angle comes from, wherever the opening comes from, you're able to capitalize on it. The minute you start this, you can only throw what you're, in, what you're able to throw from that stance, whatever that stance is. Okay? So that's what I'm saying is that <clears throat> the footwork is going to pay dividends.